here. So I want to talk about Harrison Barnes a little bit more. I saw an interview with Luke Walton after the victory in Portland where uh, he set a career high, eight three-pointers, ended with 36 points, a career high. Walton said he wants Harrison Barnes to be shooting at least eight threes a game. He said he's a much better shooter than he gets credit for. Eight threes a game is a lot. It and, a lot. you know, you and I watching Buddy Heald tonight put up three after three after three and, and made, a, made a decent amount of them just made me wonder if Harrison Barnes is shooting eight threes a game, how many is Buddy Heald going to shoot, <laughs> which is just crazy. So how, how are you feeling about, about Harrison Barnes and uh, – Eight threes a game, is that right? More or less? How do you feel about that? I think it's dead on. Um, look, this is the way the NBA is today. We're not just on an individual level, but on a team level. Teams are going to put up 35-plus threes every night now. And it's really almost every team. Uh, they're, you know, Maybe the Knicks or somebody who really slows it down offensively won't hit those numbers. But everybody else is going to. The Kings have a ton of shooters on this team, guys who can consistently knock down the three ball. Some of them, you know, Darren Fox has struggled a little bit early on this year. Mm -hmm. um, Davion Mitchell has struggled as well. But those are guys that can consistently hit threes. So I think not just Harrison Barnes, but everybody on this team, not named Rashawn Holmes or Tristan Thompson, um, they're going to be putting it up. For hey, Rashawn time. made a three in the last he game. He did make one, but I don't <laughs> want him shooting eight threes a game. I, I will say that right now. So, I, yeah, I, Harrison Barnes has been the most consistent three-point shooter. I know it's only two games, but he's been the most consistent so far. Mm -hmm. He's got a great stroke. He really has improved over the course of his career shooting from outside. So, yeah, I, I think eight threes is – it sounds like a crazy amount, but it, I really don't think it's that uh, overstated. Yeah, I mean, the NBA is a little different. It's changed. These analytic guys have taken over the front offices everywhere. We know the Sacramento Kings have a bunch of analytic guys in their front office. Yeah. So they're crunching the numbers, and they say, okay, well, if you can shoot 35 or 40% from three-point range versus 50 to 60% from two-point, you're going to score more from three. So they're pushing the ball more up the court. You have a guy like De'Aaron Fox that can run up the court – collapse the defense, find an open shooter around the perimeter. You already have a guy like Buddy Heald. You know, you have some of these other guys like Terrence Davis that can make threes. I, I think this Kings team is is going to be a run-and-gun, three-point team, get back on defense. I don't know if they're going to exactly take what the defense gives them, but I think that every game they're going to be looking to shoot a ton of threes. So, you know, eight Absolutely. threes for Harrison Barnes I think fits into that formula. I agree. I mean, if you look at this, the stats, the biggest disparity in the stats tonight was the three-point shooting. Jazz shot 41% from three. The Kings shot 20, or sorry, 38% from three. They attempted 42, and the Kings shot 22% from three. And they only lost by nine, and they were leading for most of this game. That's because of their effort on defense. Yep. Um, it, you know, there are a lot of great things to take away from this game. They just flat out did not make shots. So I, I won't expect them to shoot 22% from three on most nights. Yeah. And, you know, they played a little bit better defense tonight. They only allowed 110 points. I, you know, Calvin and I were celebrating the win against Portland, and I saw all these Kings fans posting, it wasn't a good game. They gave up 121 points, blah, blah, blah. Well, they lost. They lost this game, and they gave up 110. I'll take. I'll take a win, giving up 121 over a loss any day of the week. Yes, they put, played better defense tonight, but it was a sloppy game with turnovers. They game. didn't shoot well, so you know, I don't know what to do to help improve this offense. I feel like they just had, and dare I say it, an off night. <laughs> But, you know, they played better defense. They just couldn't get the ball on the hoop offensively. They couldn't. And they had good looks. You 